This is a sinkhole in Florida, and here's a recent one in North Carolina. A stark difference between the two is due to the geological composition of Florida, where the underlying bedrock is limestone and prone to collapsing by groundwater, leading to the formation of sinkholes. UNC Charlotte geology professor Andy Bobby Orchick says our bedrock is typically more resistant to large sinkholes. Our bedrock is uh, what we call metamorphic rocks, and these are rocks that have been buried deep in earth subjected to high temperatures and pressures. Many of our rocks have a, a lot of silicate minerals. And so what that does is give us soils that are fairly high in clay content. These soils tend to have low permeability. He says sinkholes in Charlotte can be mapped back to underground gold mines near the stadium in Uptown, dating back to the 1800s. What happens over time is that the supports in those um excavations, which typically would have been wooden um, in composition, decay and collapse. And that removes the support. And when those collapse, they often bring down uh, the soil and rock above, and that creates a sinkhole. He says the impact of extreme weather and human activities are typically the reason behind recent sinkholes in Charlotte. And if you're in a drought situation, we're going to want to extract more groundwater than we might normally do. And that has the same effect as the um, fill and drain of an extreme weather event. You're going to lower the groundwater table, and that's going to weaken any voids in the rocks above. Top causes for sinkholes include drought followed by heavy rainfall, weather and erosion, changes in groundwater levels, leaking pipes can flush out soil. By using geology and climate, he says they can predict where sinkholes are likely to form and what the impacts could be for the Charlotte area. I'm meteorologist KJ Jacobs, WCNC Charlotte.